All right, guys, so I got to read Marvel Knights X-Men number one. Now, I love Marvel Knights books usually because they are separate from the universe. They have nothing to do with anything. They can kind of be their own thing, and, you know, they can, they can mess with the lore a little bit more. Uh, this one felt like it was staying in it, though. Um, it didn't seem like it was too far, like, pushing those boundaries of being, like, too adult or anything, like an R-rated book or anything. It almost felt like a normal book um, with a different kind of sense to it. Maybe they're just putting in the time place right now. Um, I'm going to see where it goes. Um, and there was a couple cool pages. There was, it was actually a really interesting read and really cool, um, kind of creepy, kind of like, oh man, is this going to be scary? Almost felt like it was a month late, but still, whatever. A horror story is a horror story, and if it's good, it's good. No matter what time of year. It doesn't have to be October. Um, but it's still a really, really fun read, and I love the artwork in it. Uh, and the fact that it's an artist that wrote it, and the artwork looks really good. I mean, he didn't color it, which is fine, but he inked and, and drew it, which is amazing. I actually was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day that most of the time when an artist writes a book, just because they talk to the writer doesn't mean they can write it, you know? They, it shouldn't happen. But this is one of those exceptions where it actually works out pretty well. So I'm gonna give this four to five nerd skulls and again, await the next one. 